Hey everybody, this is uh, B16 from Roots Wiki, and today I'm going to show you the new mod system we have coming for the devs, themers, app devs, and ROM devs. So let's go ahead and go down here, open up Chrome, and uh, let's go ahead and scroll down to the forum. Let's go, uh, let's say, CM74 Thunderbolt. Okay, that's a popular hit. Let's go ahead and go in here, and let's look for CM7. We're on the dev site, by the way, so none of this is actually available yet. Hopefully tonight, on Monday. So, let's uh, see what we got here. Let's go to the developer forum, and we're going to scroll down, and we're going to click on CM7 for the Thunderbolt. Now, as you can see, things have changed. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Now we have a new mod system. And what we have here is, is a better way for people to understand what the modification for your phone is all about. As you see right here, you'll see a little grayed box. It has all kinds of information. What version of Android it's running, when it was released, and the last time that the developer updated it. Right now you can see it has a rating system. Many people are wondering about the rating system, how it's going to work. Simple, rate this thread, that's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and do average. Vote now, OK, refresh it, and there you go. You'll have another vote. I've already voted, so you won't see a change. The last update is going to be when the developer chooses to change the version of the ROM. As you see, it says 1.6.2a. We have it changed so we can test it ourselves. You see all these options here that we have, yada yada, great, magic sauce, all the way down, and down at the bottom, you see some new features. Supporters and co-authors. These are going to be people for like teams, devs that assisted making the ROM, and other features that have been added thanks to other people. You can show your support by liking the modification, by nominating it for the mod of the month. The modification may not be copied, reproduced, or published elsewhere without author's permission. We make sure that the author doesn't have to go to 50 different sites that he doesn't know about them being posted at. But one of the best things we have here that we waited last to see is to receive notifications regarding updates. When you click this modification as installed, you will receive a PM or an email, depending on how you opted in, you'll get an email or PM telling you that there's been an update to that ROM. Android Spin also offers a similar feature for their community release database, which is really great and all but we're not here for statistics and we don't have all the numbers we're just doing this for the devs here on the site so whenever we scroll up you can see that you can nominate jump to comments mark is installed edit modification edit settings now these edit buttons these are for going are going to be for any user with the elevated privilege as far as a moderator developer or the original poster of the content let's go ahead and show you the back end how it works this is going to be for developer and themer forums only. Now, what we're trying to do is make it where the developer forums can actually stick to being development because we don't want anybody getting lost while they're in there. But feel free to post questions, obviously, in the thread. So let's go back here and edit settings. When the developer first makes the forum or makes the thread, you're going to see that you can choose which Android version. So let's go ahead and say AOSP Gingerbread because Cyanogen Mod is branched off of AOSP. Now the mod version, whenever we go over here, we're going to change it to 1.6.2 or 1.63 Charlie. Mod product ID, that's for moderator and staff use only. Really does nothing for anybody on any other level. Now you have these options to tell people what your ROM has. Now we know that Slayer has already built the ROM from source, so there's really no small edit. So let's take that out. Custom theme, there is no custom theme on it. It comes with ADW, so we'll go ahead and leave it as it is. Now, custom apps. There's custom apps in Cyanogen Mod, so we're going to go ahead and check that. Scroll down, it's got a custom kernel, obviously, because it's not a sense kernel. It does require root, so we'll go ahead and tell people that it does require root. It is in beta, 
so check. The theme. This is a theme for an entire ROM or for theme manager or for a custom launcher. Do not check the themed if mod is primarily a theme. So basically what we're saying is you're not going to check this unless this is a theme only. But since it's a ROM, there's no sense in telling people that it's a theme. You're also going to be able to tell people if it's in ROM manager. Is the modification supported? Yes, it's supported. The developer is very active on the forum and chooses to help out the users with any questions or concerns for the modification. If you'd like to add a supporter, we can go ahead and add a dev. If they're a user on the site, you can go ahead and add them. So let's go ahead and add min. Oops. Let's go back in there. Edit setting. Make sure to click that kind of derp there. Now go ahead and add user. There you go. You now have CVPCS and min. If they were going to be co-authors to supporters of the ROM, go ahead and remove the min just by clicking him. Or you can click that. If you want to tag the modification, it is going to be set up to where you can see that it has been installed once you check the forum threads. Now that there is no more stuff to really show you, you can just go ahead and click automatic. We're going to receive an automatic notification when this modification is updated. Go ahead and click how you would like it, PM or email. That's on a user basis. So let's go ahead and save that. When you scroll down, you can see that it's been updated today and that the version has changed. Now you can see that it's in beta stage and that it's supported by the developer. So once we scroll down, it's all still there except you don't see any alternative developers that have helped with the modification. We've also added the Twitter, Google Plus, and that you can give props. Um, we're going to add a few other things, but those are top secret for now. The only downside that we have to this feature is that it will be on page two and page three. going to be on every single page that way every user that visits the thread will have all answers to any question that they may have that would be answered in the OP. If you have any other questions or would like to comment please let us know. Thanks for visiting us here at RootsWiki.